there. Today we're unboxing a kinetic switch and receiver. So these products are compatible with both the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a look at what you get in the packaging. Initially, this is the actual kinetic switch. With the idea behind kinetic switches are they don't have any batteries or any wires attached, just works on kinetic energy that's given off when you press it. So build quality wise, seems okay. All plasticky and a big single button on there. As you can see, if I give the side angle. And on the back, You've got some holes to attach it if you wanted to. So if we look in the packaging, we've all also got some 3M sticky pads. So obviously just stick these, these locations and you can attach to a wall. So quite useful these types of products for areas where it's difficult to put wiring in or it's too much hassle. So if you put this in, it will avoid any sort of wires going back to a location. All you'll need is obviously the receiver. So if I open that up and show that, quite a small compact device. And again, comes with a 3M pad. Okay, so quite a small product. And obviously there's an antenna coming out this end. In terms of sizing, it's about six centimeters by just a little bit over four. And in terms of height, it's just under three or around three. So very small and compact. You've got a button here used for pairing. You've got a fuse location there. You've got some details there on there. So input 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. So it can be used in the UK. Load wise, you can put up to 100 watts light behind that. And that's the frequency for it. So just to know, when you connect this to your Wi-Fi, it only supports 2.4 gigahertz. So one thing to bear in mind. In terms of connectivity, there's no earth connection on there. So live, neutral in on those two points and neutral live out on this. So for example, you could wire in a plug, which is what I'm gonna do, and wire in a lamp on the other end to it. A useful device and clever bit of technology here, the fact that you don't need a battery just works off the energy as you're pressing it. So a very clever bit of tech there. Okay, so I've laid out the items you get in the packaging just here. A couple of things I wanted to show. First of all, the size of kinetic switch. So size wise, about eight and a half by eight and a half. And the depth comes in, if I go at one end, about a centimeter there, and around a centimeter and a half the other end. Okay. And in terms of the receiver, it is fused, and that's the fuse you get in there. Just show it. Okay, and obviously it is replaceable. So it's nice, it's protected by a fuse. Okay, that's that. The other thing is manuals you get. Kinetic switch manual, so one side's all in English, and the other side's all in Chinese. Okay, and the receiver manual, one side's in Chinese and the other side's all in English. Okay, so let's make a start at setting this up. So I've got my lamp here and the plug's been removed. So we've just got some bare wire on there. And also I've got a long piece of cable with a plug and bare wire at the other end. Okay, so let's make a start at setting this up. So I'm gonna take the receiver first and we're gonna loosen screws on this. So for all four of them, we'll loosen it up. If I can get a view close up just to show, it just sits into the gap there. So it just sort of expands outwards. So I'll loosen these up. Okay, so they're loosened up. So the next thing we wanna do is start wiring it in. If we look there, we've got in, so that's there. So live and neutral. So this is the power coming in, in the UK. So live is brown and neutral is blue, in case you weren't aware. Okay, there you go, that's attached now. And now let's do the wire off the actual lamp. So 
similar thing again so I'll get the neutral put it in there and the live in there as it shows on the instructions on the back and as simple as that and both wires are now connected okay so now the device is wired up next thing we want to do is plug it in so I've got a power point here at the side I'm going to plug it in and you can pair it directly to the kinetic switch without using any sort of smart tech in between like the Amazon Alexa or the Google Home so to do this you hold on to this for three seconds and as it's slowly flashing okay there you go paired up straight away how easy was that so that's just one side of this product okay so now I'm going to show you how to take your smartphone and link it receiver so let's go to the Play Store go to search and search for kinetic switch and this is the app you want and I'll click install okay so now the apps installed let's click open and you want to register an account so let me do that off camera okay so I've registered my account and logged in so this is what I'm presented with so let's add a device and we're gonna add a single dimming controller and it says to check the flashing so I've checked in the manual and it says if it's flashing twice every second then it's ready to be paired with the app so it is at the moment so next dialogue is gonna ask my Wi-Fi password so I'm gonna hit confirm off camera and then come back again okay my Wi-Fi password has been entered and now it's trying to link up receiver so let's give it a moment to do that okay if you see now the flashing's actually stopped on there if it isn't flashing correctly when you initially start this what you want to do is hold on to it for around 10 seconds and that should get it into the correct state so there you go it's added it in let's click done and there you go ready to use so if in theory I press this now turns on turns off and interestingly enough see if it lets you do any dimming so this is an LED light in there so that doesn't seem to be doing anything okay but the basic functionality is working and just to note if I now come over here turns off that turns on as well how cool is that okay so let me quickly show you the app so you've got a switch button there on and off pair button to start pairing uh, schedule so you can actually schedule it to turn on and off at certain times so days there you can select the time and you can select whether you want to turn on or off it's a very useful functionality let's go back got a countdown so you can have a countdown to stay on for a certain amount of time say for instance five ten minutes or even a couple of hours and it just automatically turns off let's go back I click in here you can rename the device you can share it with another person device info so that'll be like IP address details you've got create group so you can have multiple devices in a group so multiple lights turning on if they have this receiver use with echo use with Google home feedback check for firmware update and remove device and that's all you have pretty straightforward to add in and use okay so the next thing I wanted to show is that you're not limited to just using the kinetic switch app you can actually use smart life as well so I've got my Android device here with smart life and smart life is the app I generally use for all the tech I've got so let me go into that so similar thing you just install it straight off the Play Store and register an account then you're presented with this you can see the other smart devices I've got and I'm just gonna click on the plus and then click wall switch it wants you to confirm that it's flashing away and it is at the moment so I'm gonna click confirm off camera as it's gonna show my Wi-Fi password so let me do that quickly and there you go it's now trying to connect receiver so let's give it a moment so again if it isn't flashing rapidly like this you just hold on to this button for 10 seconds and it should put it into the correct state to pair so as you can see the lights gone off and it seems to have connected 
Let's give it a moment. Okay, there you go, successfully added. Let's click completed. And again, similar functionality, shows the brightness levels. Obviously, this is to do with my bulb that's in there. So LED one's not changing brightness. Turn it off and the same functionality below. So really cool that the fact that it can work with Smart Life, so really impressed by that. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to set up this device with the Google Home and Amazon Alexa. It's very straightforward to do. Let me bring my phone closer. I've got the Home app here. So this will be for the Google Home. And if I click down here to go to account, go to settings, assistant, and home control. Give it a moment. That's all the devices I currently have. If I click on the plus, you want to look for Smart Life in this list and link it to your Smart Life account. Okay, so once the device is added, you should see it in this list. So if I scroll down, there you go, single dimming controller. So I can just rename that to, for instance, Porch Light. Give it a moment. Yep, it saved that nickname. So now I should be able to say, okay, Google, turn on Porch Light. Okay, turning the porch light on. Okay, Google, turn off porch light. Sure, turning off the porch light. There you go, simple as that. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to set this device up on the Amazon Alexa. So I've got Alexa app here, start it up. Pretty straightforward with this as well. So if I go here and skills and games, and let's search for, give it a second. Smart Life, that's the app. What you wanna do is enable it. So at the moment it is enabled, I can disable it. Once it's enabled, you can just go to your devices, you'll be asked to find it. And once it's found, you see it as follows. So I can see it as single dimming controller. So I'll go in there and I can click on here. Let's rename it. So if I call it the same name, as before, so porch light. And if I go back, I can control it via the app. And if I unmute the Alexa now and say, Alexa, turn on porch light. Okay. Alexa, turn off porch light. Okay. There you go. How simple is that? Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this kinetic switch and receiver. Really cool bit of tech here. Fact that it can run standalone. So if I click it, turns on, click it again, turns off. And it can integrate with a smart app as well. And if I show, I'll turn off my Wi-Fi. let it go on to 4G, give it a second for that. And there you go, works without opening any ports on your router. Excellent bit of tech. Easily integrates with both the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.